Now for the fun part. Mounting the fire carriage on the ways. If everything's assembled and loose, chances are it won't fit right on the ways right away. I decided to let you, the viewer, watch me struggle with this a little bit, just to show that it's okay if it doesn't fit right on there the first time. Typically what I've found is it's the bottom floating bearings that need to be tightened down. Make sure the bolt is bottomed out in its slot and then tighten it down. Maybe a half a turn away from being completely tight. Getting it on there is pretty satisfying, but you may find that it still needs adjustment once it's mounted. Don't be afraid to take the time to make it right. The fire carriage is a non-critical component, but the tailstock is assembled essentially the same way, so it's good practice to make sure everything goes together good. Now that the carriage is on there, slide it all the way up and down the ways and listen and feel for rubbing or any other inconsistency in travel. If you're satisfied with how it performs, it's time to tighten everything down. Use a pair of bark lamps, one on each end, to tighten the carriages against the ways. Align the clamps so the main force is pushing against that center bearing. Run the carriage up and down the ways with the clamps attached. The ideal condition is the carriages are tight against the ways, but still moving freely. If you're satisfied with the travel, it's time to tighten down the bolts on top. Now it's time to adjust those bottom bearings. But before we do, we're going to want to remove the set screws and apply some blue thread locker. It's been my experience that these set screws can work their way out if you do not apply this blue thread locker. Do not use red thread lock for this step. The red thread lock sets hard like a glue or epoxy, while the blue thread lock is more like a flexible rubber and makes the screws easier to adjust and remove if needed. Apply the blue thread lock and then insert the screw back into its hole. Repeat this step with all four set screws. You want them tight enough that the bottom bearing is engaged on the ways but not so tight that they impede the travel of the carriage. You may need to go back and tighten or loosen certain set screws accordingly. The ideal condition of full constraint will be evident when all 12 bearings are observed rolling as the fire carriage is advanced up and down the ways. Ideally the fire carriage rolls freely but stays put where you stop it. To finish off the carriage, we'll mount that handle we talked about earlier. I've got a piece of 3 8 inch all thread that I've cut down to 4 inches long. Thread a 3 8 inch nut onto the all thread. Follow that up with a lock washer and a regular washer. Thread your post into the pre-tapped hole to the desired depth. Use a wrench to tighten the nut against the carriage. Once that's tight, thread another nut onto the post. I'm using a 3 8 inch thick nut because that's what I had lying around the shop. A regular nut will do. Next, thread your handle onto the post. I found this handle design to be especially ergonomic for the direction of travel. 
you may find something else that works for you. Find your desired position and then tighten the nut to lock the handle in place. Run the carriage up and down the ways to make sure it's functioning how you like. If you're satisfied with its performance, the fire carriage is now complete.